In this video, we're going to look at the reasons uh, that we use um, compression steel in addition to our, our tension steel. The first and primary reason that we'll use compression steel is it allows us to increase um, the amount of tension steel that we can uh, have in our section while still remaining tension controlled. Um, so here's an expression um, showing the, reinf the allowable reinforcement ratio for a beam with both tension and compression steel um, while our section still remains tension controlled. Uh, so you can see the expression here on the right is our tension controlled um, reinforcement ratio limit uh, for our regular rectangular section. And you can see that uh, adding compression steel, um, if that compression steel yields, uh, allows us to increase um, the amount of uh, re the amount of reinforcement that we can provide. So you can see uh, this additional component um, is an additional amount of reinforcement that, that we can add to our section um, and still remain tension controlled. Uh, so this can allow us to um, get the needed capacity in shallower sections. or uh, sections where we may have some kind of uh, depth limitation provided uh, from uh, our architect or building layout requirements. So the next reason that uh, we want to use compression steel is it allows us to increase our ductility in the section. Uh, so here are moment curvature diagrams for both a singly reinforced and doubly reinforced section. Um, so you can see that the singly reinforced section, we can only achieve a certain amount of curvature um, at failure, and the doubly reinforced section will get an increased uh, curvature. So this will lead to um, increased uh, deflections that are capable in, in our section. Uh, you can see, however, that uh, adding compression reinforcement does not really increase our capacity. Um, so you can see there's just a, a very small increase in capacity uh, when we add our compression steel. So this is not one of, one of our reasons. The next reason uh, that we can use, or we want to use compression steel, is it makes our beam easier to construct and it makes our cage, uh, our reinforcement cage, more sturdy. Um, so here's a reinforcement cage from a, a beam, uh, an inverted T beam that I built. And you can see the uh, six number 11 bars um, at the bottom and the 12 number 11 bars at the top um, combined with the uh, stirrups in both directions um, makes a very sturdy um, reinforcement cage uh, that's easy to work with and, and easier to build uh, than if we only had one layer of, of steel. The next reason that we want to use compression reinforcement is it allows us to ensure proper development of our shear reinforcement. Um, so this is an ACI code requirement, um, but looking at our section, when, we're, uh, when we have shear in our section, our shear reinforcement is going to be in tension. So it's going to uh, resist our shear by um, being in tension. So we can see that it needs to be proper, properly developed and having the compression steel here is gonna help to uh, develop our, our shear reinforcement properly. Uh, finally, having compression steel is going to help us to reduce our long-term deflections. Uh, so let's say that we have two beams that are simply supported and one beam has compression reinforcement, one beam does not. So let's load both beams and let's keep the load uh, sustained on those beams. Um, so what's going to happen in the beam without compression reinforcement is um, the beam is going to want to shrink and the loading is also going to make the beam uh, want to creep. So the reinforcement in the bottom is going to resist this uh, shrinkage and, uh, and the creep effects. And what's going to happen is the, the top of the beam is going to 
uh, want to shrink more than the bottom of the beam. So this is going to cause our beam to deflect downward and uh, deflect down more than if we didn't have any reinforcement in our section. Uh, if we have compression steel in our section, then our beam is it's still going to want to shrink and it's still going to want to creep. But our reinforcement at the bottom is going to uh, re resist the shrinkage and creep effects um, as well as the reinforcement in the top. Uh, so we will still have uh, downward deflections caused by the loading, but they won't be as uh, as significant as uh, if we don't have any compression steel in our section. Um, and ACI has has a way that we can uh, account for um, this benefit of the compression steel that we'll look at um, in, in uh, later in the class and in later videos.